everybody, my name is Multi Monitor Mike, or Ifinitus for short if you want to go there. I know you're wondering where you get a name like Ifinitus. Well, I don't know where they came up with a name like Ifinity, but that's what's going on with these three monitors behind me. If something an ATI graphics card does where it makes all three of those monitors into one gigantic widescreen. I'm told NVIDIA does the same thing with something called Surround, but I'm not a fan of NVIDIA. Never was. Every time I got their stuff, it just didn't work with me. So I'm an ATI guy, always have been. So basically, I'm going to be covering what you get with Ifinity. I mean, not what you get, but how to make it work. It's not like you're going to plug it in and every single game is going to instantly go to a 5040 by 1050 resolution. You gotta fool with the coding, you gotta know what you're doing, you gotta know where to find the right thing. I had no idea that Morrowind was able to be fixed to work with this. Elder Scrolls 3 came out a long time ago, way before this technology ever did. But it works with it if you do the right thing. Certain games just never work with it as far as I'm concerned. I'm looking in your direction, SimCity 4. I've been told it works with iFinity, but I can't find one definitive way of making it happen. So we're only a minute and 10 seconds into my first vlog and I have run into a problem. Filming. How am I going to film three monitors when you're not watching it on three monitors? There are two options. First there's this one. It's a good idea, but you're not going to see the detail. You're just going to see a camera recording three monitors. I don't know if I like that one. Or there's this way. I found a program that actually lets me record the video game as I play it. Only problem is, it's going to be using about one-third of your screen. So I'm not your typical reviewer per se. I mean, the thoughts I have on my games are my own. But it's not going to be like I'm not going to criticize from time to time. Like, say, uh, how many of you fucking reviewers decided Duke Nukem or Ellis the Madness Returns was not a good game? What is wrong with you? It's because you played it on Xbox, or PlayStation 3, or one of those non-PC systems where it should have been from the start. So that's right everybody, I'm a PC gamer. Aside from that, I'm a fan of Nintendo. And even though I own an Xbox 360, Sony and Microsoft have gotten a little too arrogant over the years and I'm not a big fan of them. And then as far as Macs go, I'm pretty sure you can run Ifinity on a Macintosh. I don't know how you do it. Five monitors, a bit excessive. Well, it's just been a hobby over the years. Craigslist has made so much progress in making computer parts so much cheaper that I just couldn't help myself. You know, I bought the graphics card, and then I was like, what? What is this Ifinity thing? My computer can do this? Um, uh, mm -hmm. Well, I have four monitors. Guess we're going for five now. Not to mention, you can do this. So here's my setup. Basically, I got two computers. On the top here, these two monitors, I got a 1.8 gigahertz dual core with four gigabytes of RAM and a 4.8 Windows 7 rating. On the bottom, these three monitors behind me, which we'll be focusing on more often than not, it's a 2.8 gigahertz Core i7. It's got a six gigabytes of RAM with a 5.9 Windows 7 rating. Now, I know 7.2 is the highest, and if it wasn't for something to do with the hard drive, it would be a 7. So you're thinking to yourself, Mr. Multi-Monitored Mike, what are you going to review in types of games? I mean, what genres, if anything? Well, to put it harshly, no MMORPGs ever. I love a role-playing game, but there's still that part of me that's kind of embarrassed about the fact that I am playing one, so I don't want to play it with other people. So I play them alone. Uh, war games, I'll play them. But I can't tell you the difference between a Medal of Honor and a Call of Duty game. They all look the same to me. And I want to play a racing game, I just don't have any. And I like the arcade style racers, not the boring Gran Turismo, soup up a car type of racer. Those kill me. Other than that, action, adventure, platformers, any game that rewards exploration, I am in. As for how I run my games, I go with a 5040 by 1050 resolution. That's what you get with all three of them combined. I go with more of a mid-grade performance. I'd rather have nicer graphics and effects than the little things like anti-aliasing or motion blurring, which doesn't add shit in my opinion. It looks a little more realistic, but 
Do I really want a little more realistic for a slower game? So as the host of an Affinity uh, based show, I guess I should show you a little bit how to set it up. Right here we have my 5750 graphics card. It takes up two spots, the PCI and the one underneath it, so you're going to need a little room. This is what it looks like from the front, and this is from the side. It's got two DVI hookups, one HDMI hookup that we're just not even going to touch, and one DisplayPort hookup. DisplayPort with this graphics card is required if you want to do iFinity. It is a pain in the ass. You could either buy a $100 adapter, or you can get a new monitor. I went with a new monitor that has a display port. Plus those adapters apparently burn out after you play with them for too long. On to getting it into the PC itself. First, hook up the six prong thing from the power supply, that's some kind of plug that the uh, graphics card needs. Then gracefully put the card into the PCI Express slot. As far as hooking up the monitors, you fit the two DVI wires right where they go like you would any power. You screw them on. Then you put the display part wire in, which also isn't cheap, mind you. But you slide it in until the two little prongs click, and then it's locked in place. Now it's onto the desktop. And on my desktop, I use Windows 7. In all honesty, it doesn't matter which version you use, all you gotta do is get to the ATI Catalyst Control Center, and then you can do this whole Ifinity setup. And that's usually found under the advanced options under your display settings in the control panel. So left click on your desktop and if you have an ATI Catalyst Control Center, it will be right on top of this menu. Open it up and you'll see this new one. Click the graphics tab in the upper left corner and go down to desktops and displays. It will bring you to this screen. Right click on the big blue box with a 1 in the middle and click display group, which gives you another little menu. Click create group. Now you're going to be on this other menu. I'm going to zoom in to show you something. This little tab for the Affinity options when pulled down gives you all the ways you can set it up on your computer. If you have up to six, you can have six monitors doing one display. But I just have the three, so I can choose to have it side by side or stacked on top of each other. I'm going to go with side by side because I can't figure out one reason to have them stacked on top of each other. Once you click accept, the card will spring into action and try and guess exactly where your monitors are as for your arrangement, which it does wrong every single time. You can follow the arrows here to see where the monitors should be in my case. The smiley face was not intended. So when it asks if the monitors are correctly displayed, you press no, and hopefully by this point you didn't rearrange your monitors physically. There is a better solution, and it's going to start as soon as you click no. It'll show you a menu with one screen lit up blue. Click on the matching monitor position in the menu, and then it'll do the same with another one. Once again, click the matching monitor position, and now when it asks if they're displayed correctly, you press yes, and now your desktop should span across all three screens, and it's time to get your iFinity on. But yeah, thanks for watching. I hope next week we can get started with, oh, I don't know, uh, little Alice Madness Returns. This is a good game. I loved it to death. Thanks for watching. Quick little side note. You know, I have all this equipment. I might as well use it. So sometimes I might just get in here and bitch about something. You know, that thing people do on, I think it's called a V-blog? A V-blog? A blood vlog or something? I don't know. God knows the world has given me plenty and plenty enough to bitch about. And the material just keeps coming. I have a list already.